today I have a really exciting video. I'm going to be doing my haul from BookCon. Um, I just got back yesterday from New York and I had such an amazing time. It was such a great experience and I got so many books to show you guys. I also kind of want to talk a little bit about my experiences and everything that happened and went on at BookCon. I had like the time of my life. It was just super, super fun. So I kind of wanted to go through all the books that I got because I know some of you were interested um, in what books are. So I'm just going to get into the haul and I'll kind of talk throughout different things that the books made me think of. So first book that I'm going to show you guys is The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. And I actually got this signed. This is an ARC. Um, the book isn't to come out till like November or something. So I was super excited about this. I wanted to get the Shadowhunters Codex from Cassandra Clare, but they were sold out of the tickets when I got to the ticket booth. So I still wanted to meet Cassandra. So I got this book of hers. So it was really good um, to meet her and everything, but I didn't really get to talk to her much. They were kind of in a rush. They were like, no personalized signatures, no pictures, no nothing. But still got this signed by her and Holly, which is really, really cool. And I'm excited to read this. book I got is a Sylvia Day book. It's called Spellbound. I um, got this signed as well. I'm a really big Sylvia Day fan, so it was really cool to get to meet her. And I actually got a picture with her, which I will insert here. And she signed my book. She said, Laura, great to see you. It's Sylvia Day. So that was really, really nice. She was the first author that I met that day, and I just had a really good experience with her. She was super, super nice. So that was really cool. Next thing I got signed, I'm really not sure what this is. It says Hellfire Lounge 4, Reflections of Evil. And it's Weird Tales by, and then like all these different authors. Um, and I got it signed inside here. There's like a couple different papers, and it's signed, and it says, Enjoy to Lara and one of the authors signed it which is kind of cool i don't really know what this is all about but i thought it'd be interesting a lot of these books i honestly have no idea what they're about i just kind of grabbed them because i was like free books so next book i got for free is unbroken by laura hillenbrand and this is actually really really funny this is my summer reading book for this year and i just got it for free at BookCon, which is super cool right like now i don't have to go out and buy it so I have that now, which is cool. I'm kind of excited to read this. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm not a huge nonfiction fan, but this one looks pretty good. So I'm excited about it. I got it. Organic, A Journalist's Quest to Discover the Truth Behind Food Labeling by Peter Lawfer, PhD. Um, this is um, an ARC as well. A lot of these are ARCs. Um, I don't really know. This is an ARC, I know. Um, the Sylvia Day one might be an ARC. The Iron Trial is an ARC. A lot of them are ARCs, but this is kind of cool. I'm really interested in like organic eating and food and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool. I got this. This is an advanced reader's excerpt um, of As You Wish, and it's like the guy from Princess Bride, um, Carrie Elves, and he signed that the bottom. I didn't actually meet him, but they had signed copies of there. I saw him. He was like standing near me, but I um, got that one signed. And then I also got signed... Um, this is a little excerpt. It's just a piece of paper, but it's for Danielle Fischel's book. Normally, this would be cause for concern, and she signed this for me. I met her, uh, which was the coolest thing ever. If any of you watch Boy Meets World, she plays Topanga. And Boy Meets World is like one of my favorite TV shows. I think I talked about that in a video one time about how much I love Boy Meets World, but I got this night, I got a picture with her, and she told me she liked my outfit, and I sort of fangirled all over the place, and um, she liked my picture that I posted on Instagram after the picture of us that I just showed, so yeah, um, and this, you have to just go download it, and you get like a free excerpt of the, her book, which looks really, really cute, and it was just so, so fun meeting her, because she's like an inspiration to me, so that's super, super cool. I'm just going to go through the rest of these really, really fast, because those were the only ones I thought were sort of interesting, but um, Diary of the Fall by Michael Law, the Quarren. Do Not Disturb by A.R. Tori. One of Us by Tawny O'Dell. Alex by Pierre Lamari, Lam Lamaitre. The Four Corners of Palermo by Gasape di Palaza. The Goddess of Small Victories by Yannick Grenik. This looks kind of cool, I like the color. Happy Are the Happy by Yasmina Reza. Unwritten by Charles Martin. Bad Magic by Pesuedonomos Boch. Bosche. <laughs> it's a cool cover. Profit by Michael Cortier. Cortia. And the last book I got is War Dogs by Greg Bear. Other random stuff I got. I got this bag with Captain Underpants on it, which is super, super funny. And it says, reading gives you superpowers. And that is obviously true. And then there's this on the back as well. It's just like one of those bags that um people, they gave out a lot of bags at BookCon. Because if you didn't have bags to carry books and stuff, boots gave out free ones. I also got another bag. This one has Wonder by RJ Palacio on it, 
and it says choose kind I actually read this book and I have a review on it on my channel so I will link that down below if you're interested but I just got some random stuff in here this is my lanyard from the day um, it just was um, the thing that they give everybody but I put a sticky note to have my name on it and I also put a business card with all my YouTube information Goodreads and email information um, and stuff like that just um, with a pin I just put it on there and it wore it around my neck all day I don't know why that was so complicated. Um, I got this. It's super cool. It's the um, Shadow Hunter temporary tattoo, which is super, super funny. Angelic power. I like that a lot. I got this. It had a popsicle stick attached to it, but it's like Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat was there, which was super, super funny. I really wanted to get a selfie with Grumpy Cat, but there was people in line for like four hours, and I really didn't have time for that. I went to BookCon. It was awful. <laughs> This is like a little card you can like send to somebody. It's so funny though. They're giving those out for free. Um, this is another card that has to relate to Wonder that I got. Um, this is a thing about ebooks. I got The Whispers of the Fallen. Um, like an about the author thing, I guess. I don't know. Another thing about Wonder. And I got this pencil. Um, can you spot the curlipped in this? I don't really know what this is all about. It has to do with Lemony Snickets, which is kind of cool. So that is everything that I got at BookCon. Um, so much stuff, right? Like, I did not expect to get that many books. That's ridiculous. Um, and if I have a book haul up within the next, like, two months or something, just please tell me that I'm ridiculous because this is so many books. Like, I need to read all of these. Another really fun part of BookCon was the panels. I actually only went to one, and if you couldn't guess, it is the Fault in Our Stars panel. I was super, super fortunate to get to go to that panel. I know that they told everybody originally that nobody would get to line up for the panel until 2.30, and there was people there at 1 o'clock lining up, and they let us because we were all, like, crazy like maniacs trying to get in line and they wouldn't let us so they finally had to let us because we were blocking this huge area and um, people that got there at 2 30 couldn't even get in line because they wouldn't let any more people in um luckily i got there really early and i did have a nice spot in the little room um i was up on like the balcony area but i was like the balcony and then the stage was right there so i had really good vision um and john green was there obviously josh boone the director of the baltimore stars and some other people but Oh my gosh, guys, Nat Wolf was there. I'm pretty sure I started, like, I, like, collapsed. Like, I didn't think that any of the actors were going to be there. And if any of you know, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I have this huge obsession with Nat Wolf. Um, ever since I was in third, fourth grade when the Naked Brothers Band came out, Nat Wolf was my favorite person in the whole world, and he's still like my biggest celebrity crush. I think I've talked about this before, but if you don't know, Nat Wolf is like my all time, my all time. And the fact that he was there, I basically fell off my chair, started shaking, and then I started crying all at once, and then I was like dying, and I couldn't even focus on the fact that John Green was there, let alone Nat Wolf. Like, I was freaking out, and <laughs> I didn't think I would ever have the chance to like see Nat Wolf because like he doesn't really do much music I know he's coming back with music and stuff him and his brother Alex but like I didn't think I'd ever like see him in concert and like he's an actor like you don't really see actors but that was just like oh my god it like made my day I was freaking out for like the rest of the weekend I'm still freaking out right now um as you can see but it was so amazing they showed us part of the movie and they talked about stuff and they answered questions and it was really really fun and I it was such an amazing thing to get to do. Um, the movie comes out this Friday, June 6th, you probably know that, and I'm going on Thursday to the special um, simulcast version that's going to be like really long and you get free stuff and I'm excited about that. So yeah, so, yeah that's basically it. Um, I just want to say BookCon was such an amazing experience for me and I had such a great time. Like I never thought I would get to do something as cool as go and experience something like this, meet all these authors, meet all these other people that love books as much as I do. Um, it was great meeting people and getting to talk to people about books and authors and all that stuff because like anybody at the book con, like you can probably relate to if you're there because you probably both like reading, you probably both share some of the same favorite books. Like when I was in line for the John Green, um, thing for two hours. I met this girl that was sitting next to me and we talked like most of the time and she was super nice and it was really really fun. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this 
video, this ridiculous haul. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions for me, you can leave that down below. If you have any requests, you can leave that down below. If you have any interesting stories, you can leave that down below. If you went to BookCon and you have an amazing experience that happened to you, leave that down below. Leave anything you want down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!